afternoon. Namaskar. First of all, I would like to convey my hearty thanks to TEDx team, the concerned authorities, and KIE team for selecting my profile and inviting me here to share my expertise with all of you. I was going through the previous videos of uh, TEDx, and I came to know that there have been so many Kathak dancers who have already spoken about Kathak on many subjects. Uh, so I felt that I would not reiterate those things. As you all know that Kathak is one of the eight classical dances of our country, India. And based on the specific features, there are four schools of thoughts, four styles of Kathak, Lucknow, Jaipur, Raigar, and Banaras. You can say the main crux of Kathak dance is the same. Kathak is like the big tree whose branches are these four gharanas. And three main features I would be specifying here. First, spins. We used to do different kinds of rounds. Rounds of eight, five, three, two, one, six counts. Then uh, rounds on, uh, in a year. Rounds on the floor with the bend knees and many more. The second thing is footwork. So we have different renditions of our footwork. We use like flat foot for the bowls, ta, tat, thai. Then we have heels for tita or digga, digga. So joining flat and heel, ta, tita, digga, tita. Then side foot to bring out the bowls, ghighe, ghighe. Side and heel, ghina. Flat side heel, ta, tita, ta, tita, ghina, ta, tita, ta, tita, ghina. Like this. Then we have toe and brush. Brush is the usage of same foot twice. Brush flat, toe, brush flat, toe. So, nadin dhinna, nadin dhinna, nadin dhinna. So, these are different renditions by our feet. And the third one is the padhant. Speaking out the syllables that we dance, reading them out with tal and lai. Today's topic is living in the Wonka world. So uh, when, whenever I am given some topic, then first I try to connect myself with few words, literally, and thereafter I try to go after the essence and soulfully how those words are connected. Your institute's name is Krishna Institute of Engineering and Technology. The first word Krishna relates to our dance. We try to enact many gods and goddesses and Krishna is one of them, very significant one. Krishna, I was talking. Krishna was a very naughty child. We all know. You have read the story of Makhan Chori that stealing the buttermilk. So he uses many excuses to convince his mother that I am very small and you have put that pot very high. So how I am going to touch that? How I am going to steal that? And in the morning when the sun rises, you send me to take care of the cattle. And when the sun sets, that is in the evening, I return. Then when is the time when I am going to steal that? But his mother, Eshoda, doesn't listen to him. And he gets angry and says, take all this, I am not going to do anything. And then Yeshoda smiles and adores her. This whole thing has been put into words by many renowned poets, like Surdas, Tulsidas, or Mirabai, I will show you. Little Krishna, pleading Mother Ishuda. Maya Mori, main nahi maakhan khayo. Maya Mori, main nahi maakhan khayo. Bhor bhai, gayan ke paache madhuban mohe pathayu char prahar bansi vat vat kyo saanj pade ghar aayu maiya mori mein nahi maakhan khayu mein balak Bahiyan ko choto Chheeko Kehi vidhi paayu Gwaal baal 
सब वैर पड़े हैं बर बस मुख लिपटायु मैया मोरी मैं नहीं माखन खायु देन ले ले अपनी लकुटी कमरिया बहुत ही नाच नचायो सूरदास तब बिहसी यशोदा ले उर कंठ लगायो मैया मोरी मैं नहीं माखन खायो so this was the poem written by surdas this was the expressional aspect in my lectures generally i used to connect 13 academic subjects with my subject kathak hindi english sanskrit maths physics chemistry biology history civics geography music art yoga but there is a time limitation here today so i decided to connect at least six subjects very very briefly in one or two lines with my subject kathak so first i would say a line about art my guru late pandit biju maharaj ji used to tell us a beautiful thing that for dancers the space is the canvas and the hands are our brushes so like a painter we should paint a beautiful picture of our dance that the audience should watch it very lovely very lovingly and they should love the structure of those dance figures that coming to music music and dance both are interrelated both complement each other ek dusre ke purak hai wo so music is should not be only in the song in the lyrics but it should be in the body language in the hand movements hastaks and also in the footwork the footwork should not be haphazardly beating on the floor but there should be melody in tapping of our feet like we have voice modulations while we are doing the padhant like that we should have the modulation of the sound how to use our feet here comes an element of physics so pressure inertia volume density we use how much pressure we should use to create that sound diga diga or like this and the melody should be maintained and these things how are related to physics then music art three subjects now coming to biology beautiful bandish we used to do in kathak that is called parmelu or primlo and that bandish we have taken bowls from nature animals birds now animals the galloping of a horse thurang 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 tathung 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 the moving of a huge elephant dhilang dhilang then chirping of a bird kukku an amphibian frog tar 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 from there the sound thari was derived then moving of a stream of river chanak chanak tak dha chanak chanak tak dha chanak chanak tak dha then an insect cricket at night we used to hear from there the word has come jhijikit so joining these words we are having our bandish tat tat ta tak dan dan jhijikit 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 tho thodang tho thodang tho thodang tak thun tak tak dadi dikhai ta thai then another parmelu tag nag thari tag nag thari kukku tak tak janak janak tak dha janak janak tak janak janak tak jhijikit dhilang 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 tag nag tag dha so these are two parmelus so using the bowls from nature and here i would like to give you one task to science students science related every person we all know guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru is like brahma the creator who is creating the virtues in the disciples guru is like vishnu caretaker who is taking care whether the virtues are maintained and the vices are not coming and shiva guru is like shiva who is destroyer of the vices so three words you all know centrosomes nucleus and lysosomes you have read in biology 
So you just try to connect. I am not saying here. You try to connect. You find the connection. Guru, Brahma, centrosomes. Guru, Vishnu, nucleus. Guru, Shiva and lysosomes. Now four subjects done. The rest of the two subjects, Hindi, English, literary subjects. Whether Hindi, English, Kashmiri, Tamil, Telugu, or any language from other countries also, German, ja Chinese, Japanese, French, each language starts with alphabets, we all know. So in our language of Kathak, we have alphabets ta, tat, thai, dig. When you join the alphabets, what do you make? Words. So we have our words, tat tat thai, tigda dig dig thai, dhata kat hunga, like that. When you join the words, what do you make? Sentences. So we have our sentences, tat tat thai, tigda dig dig thai, ta thai, ta ta thai, ta ta thai, ta thai, ta thai, ta ta ta. One sentence is complete, we named it tukda. Dhata kat hunga, dha ge din ge ta, dha din ta, dhit ta kar dha tak kat hunga, takita ta kat ta dha. Another sentence is complete, we named it paran. The same portion done thrice, it is called the high, another sentence. So what I mean to say, in technical aspect, what we are doing here at the Bandishes, those are the sentences in the language of our Kathak dance. So in Hindi English, we are also doing poetry, you all know. Just uh, now I saw, I uh, show you, showed you one poem. When poem is added to one bandish, then that is called kavit. And we used to do many kavits like Radha kavit, Krishna kavit, Vishnu kavit, and uh, having the storylines like Govardhan Dharan kavit, uh, Kale Daman kavit, I will show you one. Kud pade yamuna me jab pakar le aaye, nag sheshifan girdhar gopal, girdhar gopal, girdhar gopal, aas paas me gopiya nache. Taathei tatathei, aathei tatathei, nritya karat ghansham, nritya karat ghansham, nritya karat ghansham. So this was Kavit of Kalyadaman. Many Kavits we used to do. Now moving to the final segment of my TED talk. I will be presenting one Chaturang. As the name itself suggests, four colors, bowls of percussion, tabla, bowls of dance, bowls of tarana, and sargam, swords, notes of Vocal. So these all are merged in the song that is set to Rag Malgunchi and Tal, Teen Tal. And here, for all the youngsters sitting here, I would like to message you that you should maintain and grasp four M's in your life because today's topic says that life is magical. And the magic is knowing the unknown with curiosity, creativity, and playfulness. So the four M's are magic, the life, your life is magic, life is mystery, life is magnificent, and life is myself. Myself, Maumala, I'm not saying. That is yourself. Means you should know yourself as much as possible. And the more you know yourself, the more you will be able to relish your own life and life's magical connection. So moving to Chaturang. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sarasa 